Okay, so one of my favorite things in the entire world is recommending movies to people, and I'm like a broken record. I'm always saying the same thing over and over again and bothering everybody with my recommendations of the same movies. So I'm going to make a video, and I can reference the video and just point people at the video and say, watch that. So it's October. We're talking spooky. Do yourself a favor. Watch Fright Night. Fright Night. Fright Night. That's right. We're talking Fright Night. Fright Night. 1985. Written and directed by Tom Holland, the same guy who made Child's Play. <laughs> to start with what makes this movie so great, let's talk about the plot. So the plot is Charlie Brewster is a teenage kid who's obsessed with horror movies. He watches old Hammer-style movies on a late-night monster movie show. Stop, you creature of the night! And then, of course, a vampire moves in next door. A what? A what? Of course nobody believes him, so the only person who can help him fight the vampire is... Peter Vincent! The late night monster movie host. I can't even wrap my head around how awesome that is. It's perfect. If you're watching this movie, there's a good chance you are a teenager who loves monster movies. And then you have to call up basically Vincent Price to help you kill him, except in this case, it's cross between Vincent Price and late Peter Cushing, night. but he hosts a late night monster movie, so he's almost like a Svengoolie or Elvira or something. It's so good. Watch me. And the way the story unfolds is really cool, too, because Charlie can see what's going on in his neighbor's house through his bedroom window. So it's sort of in between The Lost Boys and Rear Window. Cast, we got William Ragsdale as Charlie Brewster. I don't know a lot of movies with this kid in it, but he's great. Chris Sarandon as the vampire. One of the all-time best vampires. This guy's so smooth, so suave, and genuinely scary as hell. He's got this pretty chill buddy that just takes care of all his stuff for him. I'm his roommate, Billy Cole. I don't know what the relationship is there. Also, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Yes? This guy's so 80s. He's always seducing girls to synth pop. It's great. Plus, and he's legit scary. You don't mess with this dude. You got Marcy from Married with Children and the always awesome Roddy McDowell as the vampire hunter slash late night movie host. And then you get this guy, Stephen Joffrey, as Evil Ed. I, I don't even know what to make of this guy. I, this is one of the most bizarre performances in a movie I've ever seen. It's right up there with Nicolas Cage and Peggy Sue Got Married. I want to suck your blood. I also want to suck your Twinkie. Uh, here, just check this out. in the oven! <laughs> I genuinely don't know if I hate that or love it. I have no idea why they're friends at all. This guy's like obnoxious, but also like, I really admire these just going for it. Like this, this actor is just like, <laughs> he's not phoning it in at all. He's giving it all to the evil Ed character. Don't call me evil anymore. See, every line. We got special effects. Really, this is the height of special effects uh, because you got some of the same team working on this. They worked on the Ghostbusters. This is in that sweet zone of a few years before CGI hits and everything gets really stupid looking. And we've just got awesome makeup effects and killer practical stuff. It just works. The thing about this movie that's different than a lot of horror movies now is that it's fun. It's a fun movie. It's not just scary or gross. It is like an adventure story for teenagers. Plus, you always get bonus points for doing my favorite thing, which is end the movie with a titular song, in this case by the Jay Giles Band. Check it out. What are you doing right now? Go watch Fright Night. Fright Night. If you've never seen Fright Night, there's nothing you're doing right now that is better than watching Fright Night. Fright Night. It's so good.